Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, in my YouTube, um, not my assumptions, I didn't do that yet. In my truthful YouTuber tag, I was kind of getting ready with you guys and I did a very similar look where I was doing this blue lower lash line with a very bare lid and it was very neutral, very bare and I threw on a giant lash and I wanted to do a little bit more of like an everyday wearable version, but a little more glam. So I definitely went with some shimmer on the lid. We went a little bit more in depth with it because a lot of people loved the look but wanted to see it a little bit differently. So that's what I'm bringing to you guys today. So if that's something you're into, make sure to keep on watching and please don't forget to subscribe because I do upload three times a week. And that is the best way to stay up to date on all the fun stuff I'm posting. So if you wanna see how we achieved all of this, keep on watching. So I already prepped the skin. I did my full skincare. I did add a little of the Tatcha Silk Canvas and I'm throwing a tiny bit of the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Lately, I've been liking the combination of these two together because I get all of the nice hydration and that tacky longevity out of the Milk Primer, but I get all of the anti-pollution blurring and most importantly I feel like I've gotten less breakouts since I started using the silk canvas so that's not something I think I'm ever gonna get rid of anytime soon definitely going for a little bit more of a natural on the face today so I'm gonna start by taking a little bit of my Lancome Tint Idole stick foundation and I'm literally just taking a little bit of this in the areas where I like a little extra coverage and then with a little bit of my Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere, I'm gonna take a tiny bit of that on a foundation brush and it's genuinely like one pump. And I'm just gonna dot that everywhere else and then blend. This was the brush that I tested out with the Sephora Collection matte foundation, I want to say two videos ago, and the foundation was okay. I liked it. I didn't love it, but the brush was absolutely everything. I am a huge fan. And just taking a little bit of my Fenty concealer, we're just going to brighten. Now I know this looks like a lot, but you'll notice I did not dip back in. This is the same initial application. I'm just kind of like pre-blending it with the applicator just because I want to make sure it's exactly where I want it. And my sponge is ready for the under eye, but I am going to be taking that same brush just to press in several of the areas. Now I'm going to take my Smashbox Studio Skin Concealer. It is a half shade lighter. And I'm just going to add a tiny bit just to the very innermost portion of the eyes and down the nose. And this is just going to help to pull that forward a little bit more and be a little bit more brightening. And while the under eyes are baking, I'm just going to quickly prime the lids, throw on a quick brow, and I'll be right back. I think I want to play around with my Desert Oasis palette because I haven't used it in a minute and I do love it. I'm going to take the shade Canyon up here and I'm going to apply that first in the crease. And then what I'm actually going to do is with that same shade, I'm just going to contour it down the side of the nose. On a flat brush, I'm going to take Nightscape right here, which is very deep. Um, this is not a shade you want to just pack right in, but I'm going to lightly add some of this to the outer portion of the eye. And we're going to blend that down because that's going to be our depth. And going back into the first brush, we're just going to blend the edges. I'm going to continue to slowly go back and forth, building up that deeper color. And once again, blend out the edges. I'm going to grab the Goddess Pencil. It is a blue liner from Urban Decay. And I'm going to add just a little bit to the waterline. And the reason I switched to the bottom is I want to see how grungy the lower lash line gets before I commit 
to the colors I'm taking up top. I recently did a very like nude on top blue lower lash line and I liked that, but I wanted to do a more glam take on that. So I'm gonna take a little bit of hot spring down here, which is a very vibrant blue. And I'm gonna run that over that liner. Well, that's very blue. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of Canyon, that first transition shade on a light, smaller, fluffy brush. And I'm just going to blend that around the blue. I'm not gonna to do too much to actually blend the blue. I kind of wanna just frame where the blue actually is, but I don't wanna diffuse it too, too much. I wanna try and keep it as intense as it is. Taking like none of Nightscape, that dark, dark shade, I'm just going to very gently connect just the outermost corner of the upper lash line with the lower lash line. And then going back to that other larger brush, we're just going to blend that out. Dipping back into that tiny brush, I'm gonna take a little more of Hot Spring, the blue, and just gently re-intensify. So I'm gonna take some of Quartz right here on my finger and just lightly press that into the lid. And I actually think this is gonna make the blue pop a little nicer. I'm just gonna re-intensify Nightscape on the outer portion of the eye one last time. And once again, we blend. Now that we have this cool eye with the blue inner corner, I'm gonna take a little bit of Sandstone, the very peachy shade down here. And I'm gonna take a tiny bit of that and just blend that above the transition just because the eye is very cool. And when I take these cooler browns, like you see how it changed already, I like to have a little bit more of a warm peachy transition peeking through because I think it just grounds the eye together a little bit more. Next, I'm gonna take a little bit of Terrain, which is right here, which is definitely more of a foiled shimmer. And I'm just going to lightly press that over Quartz, our first lid shade. I'm gonna take Turquoise, the really frosty blue, and I'm gonna add a tiny bit of that to the inner corner. So I thought I was gonna like that more, and I don't. So instead, I'm gonna go in with Mirage, the full face highlighter shade. I'm gonna take this same shade and just gently hit up the brow bone. All right, I'm gonna go quickly throw on some mascara and I haven't decided on lashes and I'll be right back to tie up the rest of the face. So my lash glue and tweezers and everything was all out and ready to go and then I put on my mascara and I actually really like the way it looks just on its own. So I'm not gonna be throwing any lashes on today. What I am gonna do though, just to amp this up, is I am gonna take one last coat of my roller lash just to add a tiny bit more drama to the lashes. And this is something I do from time to time when I don't wanna put on a falsy because my lashes are looking nice and full, but I wanna add a little bit more drama is I will just go in with whatever mascara I used. Today it was the uh, Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir and I'll just comb through it with my roller lash just to add a little bit more of a curl. So I have been skipping contouring lately and I don't know why. So I'm gonna pull out my Kat Von D Shade in Light for the first time in a while and just contour some of my features. Then dipping into some of the brightening shades from my Ambient Lighting Hourglass palette, we're just going to brighten up anywhere we put that concealer just to pull it forward a little bit more. As always for bronzer is gonna be my Marc Jacobs Tantastic. See the difference that makes on one side versus the other? This is one of those products, I mean not all bronzers because there are bronzers I've used where I'll use it and I'll be like, eh, it's all right. But this bronzer just does the perfect amount of sculpting on my skin tone that I am literally obsessed. A lot of you guys have commented about how you like that I've been going a lot heavier with blush, so I'm going to continue that with the Tarte Blush Book that I have been obsessing over. And I'm gonna highlight out of that same palette today.
All right, so Brandon actually called me, so I did figure everything else out. I did insert footage, so I know you guys saw it, but if you missed it, I did use the Bodyography Heather B Lip Pencil that we got in our Boxy Charm a couple months ago with my Dior Lip Maximizer Gloss. And I did set the face with my Flower Beauty Seal the Deal Setting Spray, which has been a favorite of mine very recently. And that is the finished look. Now I know you guys did see something similar to this recently when I did my other video, but again, this is a little bit more up to the ante. This is a little bit more glam and it's a little bit more me. So thanks again for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.